What's up, fellas? So I had a loyal patron supporter that wanted to know, can women get attached to beta male providers? Yes, guys, women can get attached to beta male providers. And in my opinion, even more so than men that they perceive as alpha males. Okay? You can also, a beta male provider can imprint a woman. All right? Only if stability is what they value the most. Okay, if a woman values stability the most, you can imprint her. And what I mean by that, guys, is if you ever run across a girl that's a real gold digger or a woman that's really big about what you can provide for her, one thing she always would do is she'll be talking about what some other guy who did the most for her did because he imprinted her financially. So she'll always be comparing you to him. So if a girl go out and she was dating for three years with a guy that made $10 million a year and something like this, and they went on exotic trips and this, that, and the other, and, and, and specifically, guys, especially like if you date girls who done dated athletes, I done dated a couple in my life, and they are always periodically to throw that in there, you know, what the guy did, and he done imprinted them, okay? He done imprinted them now. The imprint is not with him per se, with the person who he is, but with what he did. But he still imprinted her. And it only matters because she values money over every fucking thing. Okay? And from that day on, she's going to compare every guy as what he can do for her compared to fucking him. And she'll always remember him if she can't never find nobody that it can at least be on par with that. So, yes, if you're a beta male provider... A woman, will, a woman will fight quicker over a good beta male provider than a dude that she perceives as an alpha male. I can tell you this shit right now. All right, I'm talking about if that's the number one thing to her, all right, stability. If that's the number one thing and you're a good beta male provider, you see, you got different levels of beta male provider, all right? Some guys, really is tricking, but some guys, the beta male providing is on a whole nother level. All right, so just to put it out there, you know, you got the, you got the basic beta male provider where he's the guy he works. She's a stay at home, you know, wife or whatever, a living girlfriend, but she don't work. But he don't go crazy or nothing like that. He just pay the bills and he take care of everything around the house. But it's not nothing crazy where she can, you know, get on social media and stunt. And then you got the beta male providers as well. Every dollar coming, everything they do is about trying to keep this woman fucking happy. Those guys like that right there. Oh, yes. If, if she values stability or anything else, oh, yes. She will fucking f fuck a bitch up over that motherfucker. When, and matter of fact, a woman would be more vindictive over a beta male provider than she, a good beta male provider. Let me put that out there. A good beta male provider. I ain't talking about the motherfucker that's paid the light bill. There ain't nobody going to do nothing about that little light bill money. I'm talking about the good beta male provider. I'm talking about the guy that's fucking buying purses, bought you a car. You can take trips and shit like that. Oh, yes. She will fuck a bitch up over that motherfucker. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's when you, and as you guys get on your purpose and shit like this, as girls start to want to make you husband material and shit like this here, this is when you become a, a victim of being victim, uh, a woman being vindictive because now you're worth something, okay? So I'm just putting that out there. Also, guys, these are the guys that get burnt the most with hypergamy. These are the guys. These are, because usually... Especially if you're a good beta male provider. And usually, if a woman values stability over all else, a lot of them are very good actors. A lot of guys, if you run... The only way you'll know these girls here from girls who really like you, because they are, they, these some of these girls would be affectionate, guys. Affectionate. Some of these girls would call you. Some of these women would tell you, good morning. Women have game. Gold diggers have game. Some, some of these girls have game. Some of y'all guys will be like the weak beta male provider where the woman leaves you by your fucking collar and shit and you dragging behind her and shit like this. But you got some beta male uh, women that have beta male providers. They'll be feminine in every fucking thing. Affectionate. They know how to play their fucking role, make you feel like a fucking king. The only way you can tell these girls, viewers, the questions, the conversations they have with you. All right, when you date a woman that even if, like, say she's affectionate, like she perceives you as an alpha male, listen to the conversation. See, when a woman perceives you as an, 
as a, a beta male provider, and that's why she's with you, she asks you a lot of financial questions. It's like, take me, for instance. If I had a girl and I was with, in a relationship with a girl who viewed me as a beta male provider, but I didn't know it, like, say I thought she views me as an alpha because she's very affectionate and shit like this, the number one way I know is how she asks me questions. You know what she asked me? How the book sales coming along? How the, how the book, the book selling pretty good? Uh, how the patron, the patron coming along, how many, how many you got right now? They ask questions like that. They ask financial questions. If your guy got a business, some, how the business going? When you with a woman that's with you for you, you don't know she's asked you very, very, if ever, financial questions. How the business going? Any new clients? That's how you fucking know. When you get these girls that view you as a beta man provider and you can't tell because some girls are better actors than others. Some women, you'll know they beta man, uh, they see you as beta man providers. They'll be very kind of cold and unaffectionate and, you know, they don't initiate sex that often. You can know. You'll know. Some of them are not like that. Some of them are very good. Okay? Some of them are very good. They'll text you all the time, leave you good texts. They'll be affectionate. They'll be feminine in everything. They'll do all that fucking bullshit. But she still want to know how that business is going. That's what you're going to get a lot of. Okay, guys? These are the guys that get burnt with hypergamy the most because they actually thought that the woman perceived them as an alpha male. And they find out the hard way after your business is not going as good and you can't provide as what you was providing that now she's starting to pull back a little bit and now you fucking see it. And so these are the guys that are upset the fucking most because they thought it was them until they see the business. Okay, guys? So I just want to put that out there, guys, that if you're going to be, uh, 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 if you content with being a beta male provider, and some of you guys are, a lot of you guys over here uh, want to be alpha male. Some of you guys are like, hey, I don't give a fuck about alpha male shit. I'll be a beta male provider as long as I get the ass or whatever. <clears throat> the point being is, as long as you know female nature and you know what to expect, hypergamy can't hurt you that much. That's how I feel about it, all right? So some of you guys are going to be content that way with being a beta male provider and for whatever. Some of you guys are just never going to get the confidence in yourself and understand that life is a number game. Some of you guys are never going to do that. No matter how many videos on confidence and how to develop confidence, some of you guys over here are never going to do that, right? And you just already made your mind up that, okay, I'm going to get on my purpose and I'm going to be the best beta male provider that walked the fucking earth, okay? Just don't fall for the okie doke. Just don't let her feminine energy, all right, that you perceive as her viewing you as an alpha male, gets you to open up and now you done fell in love and then when the business is not doing what it was doing now you find out and now you hurt okay a woman can't hurt me all right i don't let a woman get close enough to hurt me because i know they fucking nature okay guys so that's the thing with that guys but yes a woman can get attached a woman can get imprinted by a beta male provider any of you guys that have never dated a woman that value money over anything she will constantly let you know about what that dude five years ago that she dated took her here and took her there. Now, I done, guys, I done dated them all. I done, man, I done dated them all. The Mercedes, the Mercedes and, 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 and the shit, even before the Mercedes, what I told y'all guys, I had to pull out gold teeth and I had the little necklace and shit. That was when I was in my early 20s and bitches would be trying to tell me about some fucking drug dealer they dated that did this and did that. And I used to be sitting there like, mm. Well, I got a hundred dollars in the bank, so I don't know if I can do all that. But they seen the little stupid ass necklace around my neck, think I got some goddamn. I ain't got no goddamn money. All right, so I done dated them all, guys. I done seen them, dated them all. Girls who value money, girls who was big on who 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 just who was obsessed with, thought I was the gorgeous thing to walk the earth. I done fucking dated them all, guys. I can pretty much tell you anything about pretty much any type of woman you want to know. All right, guys, I'll get back with you guys later.